Hi, Marty, VK4KC here from Mad Dog Coils. I'm back at my uh, testing grounds, Beer Burham East State Forest, where I like to come to test antennas and see how they perform. And I'm working towards my kilo award here too as well, so that's very handy. All right, so the new product, Mad Dog Coils. Uh, we're calling it the Mutt. And it's a um, just an in-fed half-wave transformer. Comes in two versions, either a 49 to 1 or a 56 to 1. And um, today I'm just going to do some testing with a 20 meter length of wire. Uh, with two different uh, configurations of wire. One with some uh, six turns of wraps at this two meter mark from the feed point, And one without. And of course the two different uh, transformers, the 49 to 1 and the 56 to 1, and I will show you the results. It, this one here shown is a 56 to 1 auto transformer. It's got the 100 picofarad uh, 3 kilovolt um, capacitor. It does have the ability there to uh, put a counterpoise wire on, but in this case I've got um, my length of coax choked at the far end, so it's using the shield of the coax coax as a counterpoise. That wire is running about 20 meters up to around about eight and a half meters high um, on the end of a squid pole up that end. So it's a sloper from about eight and a half meters down to about two meters above ground here. So that's our configuration for the testing. Okay, test number one. This is the 49 to one. We're resident, we're about one as to three on 7.06. Okay, getting up to about one as to four, about 7.2. 14 megs, 20 meters. Okay. 1 is to 1, 1 is to 0, right up the top end of the band, 14.330. And as we come down, let's go down to the FT8 section, around there, 1 is to 1.3, so really nice flat curve. 15 metres. Okay, we're a bit high. 21.695, one is to one. Let's come back down to the sort of the middle of the band in around the 200. One is to 1.4, still quite acceptable. And up to 28. Okay, we're quite high there. One is to 1.3 at 29.25. When we come down to about 28.3, we're creeping up. One is to 1.8. And even further down, yeah, one is to two. Probably need a tuner. Um, no, you could get away with it, but uh, a tuner would certainly tidy that up. Uh, or the other length of wire, which has got the small uh, six or seven turns, which we'll show very shortly. Okay, here's the results with the same length of wire, exact same wire, but with a 56 to one uh, transformer. So we're going to do 40 meters first and the lowest we can get there is 1 is to 1.2. That's uh, taken it down to just under 7 megahertz but coming back up around about 7.1 is 1 is to 1.3. Still a good match and right at the top of the band 1 is to 1.7. Okay, let's go up to 20 meters. So, 1 is to 1.1 1 .1 at 14.235. And down to the around about CWFT8, 1 is to 1 1.3. And up to the top end of the band, 3, where are we, about 350. Well, still 1 is to 1.1. 1 .1. Fantastic result there. 15 meters. Okay, 1 is to 1.6 at... Um, the low end of the band and one is 1.5 10 meters so when we get up to the high end of the band or the mid mid part of the band 
we're kind of looking at about 1 is to 1.7. And if we go right down to CWFD8, yeah, 1 is to 2. Okay, for this round of testing, we're using the same two different, uh, the two transformers, the 56 to 1 and 49 to 1. At the moment, we've got the uh, 56 to 1 hooked up and just a different wire this time. This wire, it's uh, got about the two meter mark, approximately. Um, we've got a winding of about six turns of the wire around a, f a plastic former that's about 1.25 inches diameter. And then from there, we go up to the squid pole, leaning into the tree. Again, same height, same sloper configuration. This end, oh, it's a little bit lower this time. It's probably about 1.8 meters above the ground. So let's go over and do some tests with this 56 to one and the uh, windings at the two meter point. Okay. So we're about one is to 1.4, seems to be about the lowest we're getting there. And that's nicely, pretty well right in the middle of the band. Even down the bottom of the band, it's only going as high as one is to 1.5. And one is to 1.5 at the tie end of the band. Okay, let's try, try 20 meters. Low end of the band, one is to 1.5. And as we get higher, the SWR is coming down. Very nice. One is to 1.2. Okay, so at 21, uh, about 1.1 at the high end of the band. And um, at the low end of the band, we're kind of uh, one is to 1.4. Good result. 10 meters. Oh, this is good. This is much better. So by putting those windings at the two meter mark, it's effectively shorted the antenna for the higher band. So right up in the high, the high end of the band, we're looking at one is to 1.1. And then down towards the bottom, we're looking at one is to 1.7. But that's a lot better than the one is to two or two point something that we were getting before. Okay, so these tests were done on the 56 to one transformer. Let's plug in the uh, 49 to one and see how we go. 40 meters. Okay, if you remember the 56 to one, the resonance was around about one, about one, one, 7.11. So let's see what's happened here. Okay, one is to 1.5. So performance isn't as good with the 49 to one, but still quite acceptable. Even down uh, CW, one is to 1.6. And up the top end of the band, um, yeah, one is to 1.6 and kind of in the middle of the band there, one is to 1.5. All right, let's go to 20 meters. Okay, one is to 1.3 at the high end of the band. And then we come down to CW portion, one is to 1.6 to 15 meters. Okay, the low end, one is to 1.5. And towards the high end, one is to 1.3, 1.2 and 10 meters. Okay, low end of the band, one is to 1.7. High end of the band, yeah, coming down, one is to 1.0, right up the top. So good result there. Again, those, those six turns are working beautifully to lower the resonance point on the 10 meter band. So there you have it. You saw the table of results there for the, um, the difference between the, the 49 to one and the 56 to one. 
it is very close but the 56 to 1 is just slightly better so i think we'll just go with the 56 to 1 transformer as being the option you can also see that i've tested uh, the antenna in both a sloper configuration and an inverted v configuration the sloper went up to about 8.5 meters at the far end the inverted v was around about six meters high in the center and uh, uh, both performed very similar but uh, i'll put up a, a table here so you can see the outcome Now I'm going to bring in the, the two options uh, for antenna length. So you've got your standard bands of 40, 20, 15 and 10. And then we'll have the WARC bands, which is a separate length of wire with a loading coil towards the end. And that will be um, 30, 17 and 12 meters. And so that will be an option. Uh, there for the um, the Mad Dog coil or MDC 56, which we'll call it. So there'll be the the the, the 50 the MDC 56, which will be the transformer itself on a winding plate with a BNC feed point. Then you'll have the two wire options if you do want to purchase the wires. Um, otherwise, you can make your own. And uh, all the specifications for the lengths of the wires will be uh, in the documentation. So hopefully this has been helpful and uh, check out the website uh, maddogcoils.com.au to uh, check out the uh, pricing on this new product. Thanks for watching. This is Marty, VK4 Kilo Charlie.